At least 100 protesters have been arrested across Belarus after tens of thousands of anti-government demonstrators took to the streets for the fourth weekend in a row. They're demanding that President Alexander Lukashenko step down following his re-election last month in a poll widely seen as rigged. In the past week, the Belarusian security forces have intensified efforts to detain or intimidate protesters. Our correspondent, Jonah Fisher, spent the day among the crowds in the capital, Minsk, and he sent this report. For the fourth Sunday in a row, the people of Minsk defied their president. Riot police had been deployed on every street corner. Razor wire used to block off squares and monuments. But the people here are no longer scared of Alexander Lukashenko or the balaclava-clad riot police who carry out his orders. Four weeks on from the disputed election, there's no sign of Belarus's demonstrations running out of steam. This is another huge protest brought here not just by that vote, but by the brutal, violent crackdown that followed. Why have you come out here today? Because my heart was broken when I saw all this violence uh, in, in Telegram and uh, Instagram. I felt that I must to do something. The violence this week has been particularly aimed at students. Groups have been seized from the streets while out demonstrating. Others, like 21-year-old Prokhor, were detained on university premises. So the police dragged yeah. you out of here? Yeah, yeah. The people sing, sing. Prokhor's crime, singing a revolutionary song from the musical Les Miserables. Released from detention, he was at the demonstration today, philosophical about recent events. I can even say Lukashenko thank you, because he made us united and uh, we are what we are now. As the numbers dwindled at the barricades this evening, the riot police had their revenge, beating and detaining dozens. The security forces are still with the president, but he has clearly lost the people. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, Minsk.